Leading Democratic candidates for governor took the debate stage tonight right here on CBS2. And for much of the one-hour face-off, the governor's opponents tried to score points on the front runner. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer and I were moderators. She is here now with more for us. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, it was the debate the two gubernatorial wannabes were waiting for. The opportunity to finally confront Governor Hochul face-to-face -face and try to convince New Yorkers that they would do a better job running the state. But she upstaged them with a news nugget she to please many who live in the tri-state area. It was a simple question from Maurice Dubois. Ms. Hochul, congestion pricing, should it happen now or later? I support congestion pricing, but we've been in negotiations with the federal government that has the say on the next step, and they have now put some other, I would call them, hurdles in the way that we have to overcome. But Governor Hochul's answer was probably music to the ears of business leaders who fear that congestion pricing will make it more difficult to convince their employees to give up telecommuting and come back to Midtown offices. Could you tell us how long congestion pricing is going to be delayed in New York? I don't have the answer. I don't think it's going to be before the end of this year. But as to whether it should be delayed because of the pandemic... We should do it now. It should be postponed for at least a year. I support congestion pricing, but not now in the middle of this financial crisis. And with the Democratic primary some three weeks away, it was the first time Governor Hochul debated her Democratic challengers. They spent the night doggedly trying to score points on a host of issues, from letting judges consider dangerousness in bail reform, locating a casino in Manhattan, and the Buffalo Bills stadium deal. At one point, Swazi tried to sneak in a twofer, bail reform and the bills. When it came to the Buffalo Bills stadium, she got something done that nobody thought could get done. It's so unpopular. It's a billion dollars, the most lucrative deal in the history of the NFL. She got that done. She twisted arms. But when it came to bail reform, she didn't engage. When it came to guns, Williams attempted to attack the governor for a bill signing on toughening state laws in the wake of the Buffalo shooting. When I saw the bill signing yesterday, uh, and it's already a commercial now, uh, it reminded me of uh, the uh, Cuomo press conferences during the pandemic. Despite the attacks, the governor was calm and unruffled. Although when Tom Swasey said there was no daylight between the three of them on abortion, Hochul shot back. Talk governor. about daylight. There's so much bright daylight between our positions that I need to find a pair of sunglasses. The three seemed to find common ground of sorts during the lightning round when they were asked. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Mr. I believe in spirits, though. Yeah, I guess I do. I'm a man of faith, so I don't know if I call it ghosts, uh, but I do believe in afterlife. I speak to my mother all the time. I lost her just months before I became lieutenant governor, and so, yes, I do communicate with someone who's no longer with us. So the question of whether they would support Bill de Blasio for Congress proved to be a sticky wicket. The governor said she wouldn't endorse in the primary. Williams said he was planning something in the race, but wouldn't say what or who. And Swazi, an actual congressman, said absolutely not. Marisa Christine. <laughs> Interesting night, Marcia. It was indeed. Thanks so much. Thanks, Marcia. And you can watch tonight's entire debate along with analysis on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And next week, the leading Republican contenders face off right here on CBS2. Former Westchester executive Rob Astorino, Andrew Giuliani, businessman Harry Wilson, and Congressman Lee Zeldin. That debate is next Monday, June 13th, 7 p.m. Marcia and I will moderate once again. You can stream it live, watch it on CBS. CBS News New York or right here on CBS 2.